guys, Carolina Fort Worth, and you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment, do all of that. It seems to me that a lot of cops are narcissists. They're just totally in love with themselves. And this is a personality disorder, but there's several different types. Overt narcissists really think they're better than anybody else. And actually, it's kind of weird, but they don't feel any kind of sadness or loneliness, and they can't even figure out what empathy is. So when these patrol officers were out looking for a peeping Tom, and they just scooped this guy up because he came walking along, they didn't care that he was going to have to sit in the back of a, a patrol car and be inconvenienced. They just scooped him up anyways. So what's the situation? What is your reasonable articulation? Who's your RAF? Yes. This is unbelievable. Where's your RAX? <laughs> it's funny? My freedom is yeah. funny to you? Yeah, no, it is. It's hilarious? I just asked you to stop. Why do you do that? Yeah, yes, you, you are. are when criminality is afoot and we do have what a complaint. What is your reasonable your description. articulable suspicion? We, we don't have to give all that to you. What We're is looking the problem? cause? I have plenty of it. You do? I do. I've never seen you before. Well, good. Nice to meet you. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it is, this right? This is happening in America? Yes, it I is. I just saw that. You shouldn't be looking through people's windows. We shot a man in their home at the wrong address, and then this is the follow-up in this country? Let's talk for a second. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I want to be released right. and free. Oh, this is unbelievable. We'll bring him down for... Just stand with this officer for a second. We're going to talk. I don't want to. Okay, well, that's what's going to happen. We're just going to talk for a second. This is, this is insane. insane. There it is. Is anybody available to film this? No, you're being filmed right now. No, I want a private. Are you seriously? Yeah, what is your reasonable seat. suspicion? Have a seat. This is incredible that this is happening in America. Yep. I'm a free man. I've done no wrong. Well, now you're detained. That's fine. What were you doing in people's yards looking in their windows? What are you talking about? I you have exactly evidence of this? Absolutely. Where, on may I see it? Yeah, multiple I want an attorney present for any questioning. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. That's all right. So their mics are still muted, but we can imagine what they're saying. And what they're saying right now is, oh, crap. We got the wrong guy in the back seat of that car. We better let him on out. What did he say to you guys when you were talking? Yeah, basically just the, uh, you know, like you can't arrest me anymore. Anyway. Just being difficult. Before you Ask him if he knows this guy. Yeah. Hi, man. Here's the deal. Oh, there's no deal. I don't know if he agreements to make a deal. No, 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 it's fine. We're looking for a guy, because there's another guy going around. That looks like me? Sweatshirt. Well, you we have to find sweatshirt. that out beforehand, before you can... You don't have reasonable articulable suspicion. Well, you we broke the law. No, you are the criminal no, in this no, instance. No, yeah. So, we had two yes, separate you are. incidents. You are, are you violating with under color else? of law. I do not answer questions. Okay. I already said I wanted an attorney present for any questioning. Okay, we're not questioning you. are again you. violating my rights. What do you mean? Just ask me a question. Okay, help on out, buddy. Is that an order? No, I'm just, I'm just you want to sit in my car all day. Here's your water. The phone's sitting on the hood of my car right there. You can grab it. Yeah, could you back up? I don't want to. No, I don't want anything good. to happen here. No, you're good. We're not going to hurt you. Yeah, you do. I do? You seem like you. Our next example is that of antagonistic narcissism. Some of the features of this level are arrogance, tendency to compete with others, disagreeability or proneness to arguing, and a tendency to take advantage of others. This guy definitely fits it. Because he don't want me to come back to the house. That's all. Okay. Yeah, and I don't have nowhere to go. I don't have nowhere to go. I called MPD and MPD said... No, 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 no. I told you to take him. You had an agreement right. that you guys had been in an argument. Y'all called us, okay? Yeah. We come out and did a re police report for domestic violence, all right? Yeah. You said you were going to take him to the bus to the bus place in Montgomery. I didn't know. You did not. I did take okay. him. Okay, okay. All right. No. You said you would go. No, but he didn't okay. take me. Okay, well, so you guys have been into an argument again? No, no we haven't been into an argument. No, we haven't. I he just don't want me to go to the house. And you can ask my friends there out in the parking lot. I took him to Greyhound. No, you didn't. He would not get out of my car. Okay. I called MPD 
uh, call 911, and they sent out to people, and they said because they smelled alcohol, that, that he could not get on the bus. No, he mm -hmm. didn't. I think it's an old Greyhound station. Okay. That's a so lie. why did you bring him back here? That's a lie. You know, nobody because because hey, 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 I'm not talking to you. Okay. They threatened to arrest us, I guess, for alcohol. They smelled the That's alcohol. He didn't take me nowhere. I called 911 in Montgomery at the bus station, downtown, downtown Montgomery. Uh -huh. I took him to Montgomery. Okay. Like okay, station. why did you come back here? He didn't take they, me to the ground station. They told me. Did I just tell you to be, stand up, put your hands, stand up, put your hands behind your back right now. You under arrest. You understand that? For public intoxication, or I'm going to figure out whatever else I want to charge you with. Stand up, put your hands behind your back right now. I didn't do anything, sir. You under arrest for domestic violence harassment. Shut up! Do what I told you to do! I'm gonna tow your car too. Yeah, I'm towing the Hummer. I'm towing it. Uh, well, he can get the hell out of the car then, because I done told you and you, both of you, okay? This is the second time I done dealt with you. Third time, all right? I'm not playing with you, homeboy. You didn't do anything. You can sit in the county jail and say you didn't do something. All right? I'm not tired of fooling with you. You got the right one this time, homeboy. You got the right one. Both of you. Now let's go. We're going this way to the county jail. What else do you got right here? Here's your phone, your keys. Communal narcissism. This type of narcissist will say he cares for others, but he might not realize the way that he treats others doesn't match up with his beliefs. In other words, he's a prick. Okay, so I'm Deputy Lester. I'm with the Climate Scan Sheriff's Office. Everything's recorded on my end as well. Yeah, that's fine. Right. reasons I stop you, I'll wait until the talking cat's kind of loud. The two reasons I stopped you, the first one, the registration of your vehicle expired a couple weeks ago. When? The, the 11th of April, it expired. Uh, okay. The second reason is when I ran your plate, it shows me the registered owner. When I run the driver's license for that, it shows your picture, and you are suspended. No, I'm not suspended yet. Do you have an ID on you to take a look yeah. at? The license, it's, uh, I have this whole month until April. It says right there, April, on my you license plate. Yeah, Can I get out real quick? Mm -hmm. Can I get out real quick? Well, so why are you getting out of your car, though? Yeah, I'm aware there's a sticker on there. It because says April 23. Okay, how about you give me your ID? No, no, no. Why are you stopping me? I'm stopping you because you're suspended. But no, 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 no. Okay. How do you, this has why, no, wait, 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 wait. You've you. been watching me since I got out of the apartment. I didn't know that then. Yeah, no, 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 no. You told me right now. Repeat what I you said. Repeat what you said. Repeat what I said. I ran your license plate right back here. No, at the school when I was across. I waved to you because you waved to me. Yeah, at the apartment complex. Then. I didn't know you were suspended then. Okay, wait. Why did you stop me? I stopped you because your registration expired. It's April 23. Do you have your registration, your paperwork? Yes, I have it. Let's get that out then. Okay. How about that? Yes, call your supervisor. I would like your ID though first. Yeah. If you don't give me your ID, I'm going to arrest you. I have it. Oh, you want to arrest me? I would you're like gonna your get, You're going to get if fired you, if, for doing I'm this not. to me. If you fail to present your ID, I will arrest you for fail okay. to present. Okay? This is not going to happen to me anymore. I promise. You're going to get fired for this. I'm not going to get fired. We'll see about job. that. Because you've been, right you were waiting for me at the apartment complex. Yes, you. you were. And so you've been following me. Later. How come you don't follow any other car? Why were you following me? I would like to see your ID. Here you go. Okay. I would also like your insurance. And oh, your yeah, I have it. I paid $240 for that. And you're doing this in front of my daughter, you're going to get fired. Because you were waiting for me at the apartment complex. Yes, you were. And I have only you were 
the apartment complexes. The teachers from across the street know me. Talk to the principal. School. The principal, yes, exactly they know me, and I'm gonna call yeah. them tomorrow morning and let them Absolutely. know. Absolutely, go ahead and yeah. call the principal. Okay, here there. you go. This is where my camera's got a dash over there. No, I'll give you my don't card. worry, don't worry. I have everything you're asking for. Here you go. From uh, State Farm Insurance, well, right there. I, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Okay, here you want my registration? The smog check. I don't need the smog check. Okay, that's there you go. There you go. What else do you need? Well, I need to actually see the registration. That's what yeah, I'm trying to find. I have everything. Don't worry. Right, you keep getting in and out. I just need that. I don't want you to lose the other paperwork here, though. I don't want these to blow away. Okay, stop going behind me. Nobody's doing nothing to you. So, see that right there? 4-11 of 2023. That's the expiration date. Okay. Do you Why know what today's you, date is? Why did you follow me? I didn't follow you. You were waiting at the apartment complex. Okay. You're going to let me explain this. And I'll explain to you what I was doing there. The school called in because they had a fight right there at that bus stop yesterday, okay? The school asked me to sit there, okay? The public bus showed up. I had no need to sit there anymore. So I decided to drive back down the road because I go this way. As I came this way, I noticed the stickers on your plate. Can you call your supervisor? No. Why? I don't need to. Oh, you don't need to? I'll call them. I have Why a second unit coming. Where are you from? I'm with Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Clackamas? Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. And that's how this one ended.